Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the File Explorer app to your Fire Stick or Android TV. It's an amazing app that you can use to delete all kinds of junk from your Fire Stick and this way save yourself some free space on your device. As you can see here on my screen, it shows me the files which are not really necessary for me, so I can just hit the Clean Now button and it's going to delete them. It's extremely helpful if you want to delete the installation files that you forgot to delete when installing all kinds of applications to your device. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get the File Explorer app to your Fire Stick device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it totally for free from your official Amazon App Store. To do so, we just go to search on your device and start typing the loader in the search bar. And as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on it, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you got the loader, it's not over yet. We still need to actually set it up. So in order to set up the loader, we'll go to settings by clicking on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. So open it. And here you'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times and do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer, that's in my case. And in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared for us right here. So open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then go to install known apps, from here you'll have to locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. And there you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which you always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, Let's say I will connect to Italy right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now finally, let's use the loader safely. So we gotta go and open up the loader, which is going to be right here for us. Open it. And here on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on home and not on browser. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on home and that here in that search bar, we'll need to enter a code, which is going to be two, eight, nine, zero, and 7. So once again, the code is 28907, make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes, because obviously if you make a mistake, then the code is not going to work. After that, you have to click on go 
And while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you will get even more content about fire sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly helps me a lot and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now after the website has opened for us, just scroll down a bit until you find that list of categories. And from here I will have to click on tools right here at the bottom of the category. So click on tools and then a huge list of apps has opened for us. And what we're looking for is the ES File Explorer. That's the application that we are looking for. So let's click on it. And now a new web page should open. There it is. We also need to scroll it down. So let's scroll the page until you find the download button right here. Click on it. And now in a couple of moments, the download is going to start. Usually it does take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then you have to click on install and wait until the app gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV device, depending on what kind of device you are using. And then don't click on open yet, instead press on done because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files as we don't need them anymore on our device. So we click on delete and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important because you don't have too much free space on your device anyway. Now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your Fire TV. There it is. We open it, wait until it loads for you, scroll down to the bottom, and here is the file explorer, which we just unloaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button of three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way File Explorer is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.